right? In the case of the dairy industry, we are seeing that they have not had, for instance, a price increase on the product that they are producing for the last 10 to 12 years. So the price has been extremely stable for them. And as a matter of fact, the current price at which milk is being sold in Barbados are based on cost benchmarks that really apply 10 years ago. 10 years ago, for instance, water did not cost the amount that is costing now. Um, even the inputs into the process of making milk were less than what was being than what is being experienced now. So the difficulty is in that environment is that while costs have gone up over the 10 years for the, the say the dairy industry, what has happened is that they have not been able to adjust the price. The price has held steady at the farm gate. In the meantime, um, this latest increase in feed prices, which is going to have some impact, you have to deal with. And one of the things that maybe that we don't appreciate, you cannot all of a sudden think you can withhold or reduce the amount of feed that animals are consuming. Because in itself, all that will do is affect the performance of the animal and cause other problems which you don't want to anticipate. So you have to give them the full complement. So what we are seeing is, a, is what I could call a perfect storm in which one, because of the inflexibility in price at the farm gate, say dairy farmers cannot increase the price, but at the same time, it is these costs that are actually reducing their margins, reducing their margins, and then of course compromising their ability to actually pay their overheads. This is why therefore that we are asking Pine Hill Dairy at the moment to look and see the extent to which some type of price adjustment cannot be made at this point in time. Because certainly you cannot expect an industry that has not seen a price increase for over 10 years to really be able um, now in the face of this immediate price increase that has happened, unless something else happens to cushion that, we are going to have an issue and farmers are going to experience real problems. As a matter of fact, I can say farmers are already experiencing real problems. Um, we at the BAS are trying to find ways in which we can try to cushion the impact of those price increases, but there's so much that you can do. Um, and I also want to make the point, because there are some people who might want to say that the industry in itself is price gouging. There's no such thing at all happening right now. Because